welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I drive. So I have hand controls because I don't use my feet. That should be pretty obvious. And I have a um, steering knob, I guess it's called. And well right now, so here's the thing is it's hard to use your indicator because I have to also use my left hand for accelerating. So what I do is I put my hand like right here. This way I can still control the steering and I can flick the indicator on and off along with um, using the, the stop and go. And we'll put a picture in and show you really how this connects to the gas and brake. It's a purely mechanical system. And it's very, it's a very smart, ooh, hit that bump straight on. It's a very smart system too. Like right here, you can be able to, you, you can see this where I'm hitting the, the brake right now, but when I hit the gas, I'm pulling this back. And you can also see how I'm doing this turn just with my thumb. I'm doing this turn completely one-handed. And so when I pull back, you can see this little black thing here lifts up and that pushes this, which then pushes this down. And that's for the accelerant or accelerator. And so, so that's how that works. And it's a very, it's a very cool system. It's like the lever type of system. And I usually will just keep my hand down here, maybe up here. I, I, I don't, I only use this for turns because when you're doing a turn, well, I'm hitting the brakes now. When you do a turn and you, and even for a one-handed turn, what happens when someone who's not using hand controls does a one-hand turn, they'll do like a palm and they'll palm it around. But for me to palm it around, I kind of run into this hand and it, it becomes an issue. So here, being able to hold my hand here is nice. Sometimes I'll go here or I'll go here, just my finger in there, but it's not as safe as just using one of these. I just got this on Amazon, like 20 bucks or something. Uh, nothing too crazy. And, but these, these hand controls, the hand controls that I have here, now these were expensive, or this was expensive. It was like $1,000. And that includes installation fees and all that. But it was a lot of money. And to be honest, it's really nice. It's lasted me many years. It's mounted to the, to the steering wheel column and it's just overall very, very nice. And it also allows other people to drive. In that picture, we'll show it again. Um, you can see that the way it's mounted to, the, to the, um, the brake and the gas pedals is above the pedals. So if my brother here wanted to drive, he would easily be able to just use the pedals like normal. There is one caveat is that the, the, the rods that are connected to the pedals can kind of get in the way of your foot going from the gas to the brake and back and forth. And so you, so just anyone driving, you gotta be careful of that, that your foot, like if you're trying to brake and your foot gets caught on that, on that um, rod, that um, it doesn't, you know, prevent you from braking basically and getting into an accident. And I mean, you can find hand controls on Amazon for a hundred dollars. Now that's 10% of the cost of these. So, you know, if you're short on money, or you just can't afford it. Cause this is out of pocket. I, I don't think insurance would have covered this at all. And I, could I, I think I looked into it. I don't remember, this was a while ago. So it's not something that insurance would necessarily cover. Um, if you can get insurance to cover it, that'd be great. And uh, so here we'll see me using this, the, this knob for turning. Just like that, and sometimes I'll do that, but that's if I'm doing a right turn. If I'm doing a left turn, it really gets in the way of my hand, so I'll use the knob the whole way. But yeah, so like if, if you need to get some hand controls off of Amazon, it's super easy. And they're a lot more portable too, so when you're traveling, and if you need hand controls, because I've been traveling and I, I need to go somewhere and drive a different car, so I'll buy the hand controls off Amazon and they're very easy to pack up into a, into a bag. So I just put them in my backpack, got to this car that I was going to, and I could drive it. And they're not as nice, right? So like they're just mounted, um, they're, they're mounted a little bit more loose. They're, you know, you pay a hundred bucks, you're not paying a thousand bucks, so bucks. So, you know, you're, it, yeah, it should be obvious, right? That you're not gonna get the same quality and everything. The ones that I have here, I honestly don't even know what it's called. 
Coming up to a stoplight and we'll check. Oh, it's green. Well, I'll put the link in the description. It's something called the rock and push. I think because I pushed for the brake and then I rock it back for the gas. It's not actually that hard to use either. Some of my friends have tried using it every now and again, like if they're driving my car. And it's actually pretty easy. Like it's pretty intuitive. It's the same, like the difficulty for learning how to use hand controls, I would say is roughly the same of getting a new car. Let's say you're going from a Ford Taurus to a Model S Tesla Plaid. The way you hit the accelerator in the brake is gonna change because of just how touchy it is. So getting used to the touchiness and like how hard do I push, how hard do I pull back, and you know, so it's, it's the same, same difficulty there. Some people have told me that it's a really hard thing to do to really get used to hand controls. But honestly, I was able to learn how to use them and get really comfortable using them within a few hours. So it's, so I think it's something that, you know, if you, if you need to use hand controls and maybe you're, you're new, like you're, you're newly injured in, into a wheelchair, then it's, it's not something to be afraid of. And it's actually something, you know, you could just kind of do right away. And, all right, so that's everything about how I drive with hand controls. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, then you probably already subscribed. But if not, then now's a the perfect time. Be sure to leave a comment on any future videos that you would like to see, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Share it with a billion people, maybe five. Whatever you'd like. See you in the next one. <laughs>